Infinix has introduced to the Kenyan market a new device called the Hot 10T. It joins the Hot 10 series, which has the Hot 10 Lite, Hot 10 Play, Hot 10, and now the Hot 10T. The Hot 10T has a 48 megapixel a triple camera sensor at the back with Super Nightscape. At the back of the box, Infinix is highlighting the main specifications of the device. So that's 4 gigs of RAM and 28 gigs of storage, a 5000 milliamp battery, Android 11, which is the first Android 11 phone from Infinix this year. And the main specs uh, that Infinix is proud of are written at, at the bottom. Remember, this phone comes with the Helio G70 processor, which is good for gaming at a budget uh, at a budget level. So let's unbox it and see what you get inside. As usual, at the top, Infinix has a stick on top of the device, highlighting the major specs to remind you on what you're buying. This is the 48 megapixel triple camera sensor. By the way, this is a big phone. Uh, for everyone who loves like huge displays, you love this. So the Helio G70 processor, the 90 hertz display, 5000 milliamp battery, and Darlink, which is a game booster. As usual, there's also stickers which a customer will keep their own and the shop will keep their own when you buy this phone from a shop. Underneath that, you get this envelope which contains the screen protector. An X uh, single X gold, which can be used on X X Club, which is a non-line community of Infinix users. X Club has existed for a while now. I wonder why they modeled the X gold in the form of a dollar. This looks funny. <laughs> then you get a sticker from X Pack, which is an X, an e-commerce platform by Infinix, where you can buy Infinix devices and TVs. You also get this clear plastic case. It's uh, it's hard plastic so it can break if it falls. It's not silicon and you also get the SIM, the SIM remover. Underneath that you get the usual earphones from Infinix. These have existed for a while now. They sound okay. They have this 3.5 millimeter jack so you, the pin you can use it on any device with a 3.5 millimeter pin. You also get the usual USB type A to type uh, micro USB cable. I wish Infinix switched to micro uh, to type C by now, but we're still getting this, and we're also still getting a 10 watt charger, which is unfortunate because this is a 5000 milliamp uh, battery, which will need faster charging to fill up quite quickly. At the back, you get to look at the device. It looks textured, but I don't think it is textured. You also get to look at a triple camera setup, which. Uh, the top board, the top one is the 48 megapixel camera with a 2 megapixel depth sensor and an AI lens which Infinix and Techno like to use but I've never explained what they do. Let's remove the stickers and get to the phone now. That's clean. So this surface is not textured, you can't feel the bumps or that, this is all illusion, it's smooth to the touch and it plays with light in a very nice way. So if you wanted something that looks different from the usual flat and boring back surfaces, here's a device for you. Remember the fingerprint is at the top uh, next to the camera. At the front let's remove the sticker and switch it on. So once it's on, setting it up, I've had apparently if you change uh, the country and you use something from outside Africa, you'll get less uh, ads. So I've chosen Israel. I wonder why Infinix is still telling us not to forcibly remove the uh, the battery because this is an inbuilt battery. There's no way to access the battery unless you open the box. So here's our desktop launcher. As you can see, uh, there's still bloatware, but rather let's count actually. So. There's XOS family, uh, which has smart screen, X theme, and phone clone. There's the tools, which the only blotter here is We Life and High Translate Face and Lock and Calcare. Then there's Social, which includes Instagram and Messenger. There's Freezer, Phone Master, Boomplay, Extra, Aha Games, Duo, and they don't know what these this app does. Create your signature piece in studio. So it's sort of a, like a mixing up. At the left, Infinix is still including uh, the quick access to social media, which I don't know why it comes on by default. It should be off by default for people who want it to activate it. Uh, when you swipe on the home launcher from 
left to right you get this sort of drawer which in fact just uses the google drawer okay so let's look at settings and see what you get here at the top it's my phone and you can see Infinix has continued with its uh, sort of UI that highlights the main specs so Android 11, the 720p display, 5000 milliamp battery, LG 70, the 48 megapixel triple sensor at the bottom you can see all the other details, the name of the phone, the XOS version and all that when you scroll to the bottom you can see that there's new things like kids mode added to the settings digital well-being is still here, XOS lab something called special functions and the system you can see that the usual is here but Infinix is moved system navigation to this part let's look at the system update the phone is up to date with the March 2021 security patch I hope Infinix can be better with updates because they are really lagging behind with updates okay now let's look at the cameras so you can swipe from bottom to top to view all the modes that you can use the phone for. There's short video, video, AI cam, beauty, portrait, super night, AR short, slow motion. There's also documents. Let's look at documents. Let will it be able to recognize this document? Take a photo. Okay. And it does. So if you look here, you can see that it recognized the document and took a photo and the text is super sharp. So you can scan your documents easily this is something that uh, should be in every phone because downloading an extra app for that is just weird so once we get out of uh, documents back to the AI cam you can see the picture size you can see delay capture it allows you to capture with your fingerprint sensor so once that is enabled anytime you touch your fingerprint sensor and you have the camera open it will take a shot you can put on eye autofocus, location mode, level mode to help you level your photos when taking photos. There's grid mode, there's touch to capture, there's AI portrait enhancer. There's also auto watermark if you want your photos to have a watermark. Under video settings, let's look at the maximum it can shoot. So it can shoot up to 2K nice. So you can shoot up to 2K videos and as low as 720p videos. There's no way to, there's no way to see the frame rate uh, but I'm guessing it's 30 because I'm not believing Infinix will put 60 fr uh, 60 FPS on this budget unit so it's I guess it's 30 at 1080p and 24 at 2k I'm not sure you can also enable fingerprint shutter to shoot a video and there are shortcuts there's also something called bokeh effect under video wow so with this, you should be able to shoot and set up blood like Infinix is showing here. So it will try and blur the background. I'm not sure the Helio G70 can do a good job at that, but Infinix is trying this. So it will get better with time, I hope. You can also shoot with the flashlights on or off or automatic. And yeah, that's the front camera. There's also something called short video which i don't understand how it works i'm guessing it's like tiktok okay yeah it's like tiktok but for this kit and this kit is like a tiktok competitor designed by truncheon which makes infinix phones so that's understandable and it seems like infinix also has an app store now where you can download uh such certain apps from them the short video doesn't seem to be doing anything much so i don't understand why it's included here this looks to be filters but they're not changing anything so i don't understand why it's a whole menu under the camera anyway, let's try super night mode so with super night mode you should be able to take a shot even at, uh, in a very dark place and the camera will sort of en uh, enhance the shot to make it super bright and visible as you can see here has enhanced the table and you can see the bottom and all that so back on the home screen when you swipe from left to right you can look at that a sort of drawer that Infinix is including this has changed it used to have very weird stuff themes and all that going on okay it, it has just was closed but now it looks much cleaner there's a feed I don't know where Infinix is getting the news from and unfortunately you can see there's ads which is annoying. I don't know why Infinix would want to insert ads to a feed you can't turn off. 
So when you go to the home draw, you can see all the bloatware that's still included. So these are her games, Bees, Boomplay, a browser, Carl Care, Game Zone, Phone Clone, Power Marathon, which I guess is not bloatware, it's part of that. There's also an app called We Life. Let's check it out. Okay, so We Life to be looks to be a smart home uh, app sort of uh, interface. So it allows you to connect to wearables and to TV. So the couple of wearables listed here are the Tempo 2C, 2S, and TVs from Cynix. So I guess there could be other devices for whichever market We Life is uh, being will be available to. But yeah, this is the bloater here, and it looks reduced, and I hope you can uninstall all of them. But yeah, what I've realized is that the annoying notifications you'll find at the top are not here as at now, but this is the first time unboxing it. The full review will be coming soon, so subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was the first look at the Infinix Hot 10T.